Hi, thanks for tuning in today. You're about to see a worship service that I hope will be a blessing to you. If you would like to help support the ministries of the Visalia Methodist Church, you can click on the comment link below and that will take you to a, a giving tab. We hope that the worship service you're about to see and the sermon you're about to hear will be a blessing to you. God bless and thanks. Merry Christmas. Welcome to the Methodist Church. Woo. Thank you for choosing to spend your Christmas morning in worship with us. We hope that you will enjoy this very enjoy. special experience. Mm -hmm. We will share with you this morning lessons and carols. And when we get to the readings, I want everyone to know that we will be reading in English. But for our Latino brothers and sisters, we will have the Spanish scripture up on the screens. Children of all ages are always welcome in worship. Our nursery is open for those parents who would like that convenience. Please ask an usher if you need directions. For those who came prepared today to give an offering, first let me say thank you for partnering in ministry with us. For those who are planning to give a year-end donation, your donations must be in by Tuesday the 27th. We have three convenient ways of giving today. We have our traditional offering plates at each exit. We also have the iPads for electronic giving near the back doors. And if you prefer online, just go to visaliamethodist.org and click the giving tab and follow the prompts. Again, we thank you for your partnership in ministry. January 2023, Wednesday nights will return. Wednesday Connection Amplifying Faith will include potluck dinner, worship, awana, pastor-led Bible studies, grace groups, and joy night in Espanol. Join us Wednesdays at 5.30 starting January 18th. I hope you will plan to attend and invite someone to join you. If you'd like to receive emails about upcoming and ongoing ministry programs and events, please text the word LOOP, L-O-O-P, to 559-657-6848. And for those here in the sanctuary, please text the word here to that same number. If you're online, just give us a comment on Facebook. And now, if you will bow your heads and hearts and join me in prayer. Beloved in Christ, at this Christmas tide, let it be our care and delight to hear again the message of the angels, and in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, and the babe lying in a manger. Therefore, let us hear in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving, purposeful purposes of God from the first days of of our disobedience unto the glorious redemption brought to us by his holy child. But first, let us pray for the needs of the world around us, for peace on earth and goodwill among all his people, for unity and brotherhood within the church, and especially here in our community. And because this would rejoice his heart, let us remember in his name the poor and the helpless, the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick and those that mourn, the lovely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, all those who know not the Lord Jesus or who love him not or who by sin have grieved his heart. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, whose hope was in the word made flesh, and with whom in the Lord Jesus we are one forevermore. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven in the words which Christ himself has taught us. Our Father, Our Father who, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth, earth as, as it is, it is in, in heaven. Give, give us, us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses 
as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Good morning. We start our readings today in the Old Testament in the book of Genesis. <clears throat> then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze, and they hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked. So I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? And the man said, The woman you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from that tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? And the woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, Cursed are you above all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. And to the man he said, Because you listened to the voice of the woman, and have eaten of the tree about which I commanded you, you shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In toil you shall eat of it from all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it shall bring forth to you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread until you return to the ground. From out of it you were taken. You are dust, and to dust you shall return."
from the book of Genesis. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will indeed bless you, and I will make your offspring as numerous as the stars in heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gate of their enemies, and by your offspring shall all the nations of the earth gain blessing for themselves, because you have obeyed my voice. third reading comes from the uh, book of Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he So felt its word a thrill of hope the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn oh,
fourth reading comes from the book of Isaiah. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in fear of the Lord. With righteousness he will judge the poor, and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and the little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt nor destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Jesse's lineage coming as those of old have sung. It came a floweret bright amid the cold of winter when half spent was the I have in mind 
God's love aright. She bore to us a Savior when half spent was the Our fifth reading comes from the Gospel of Luke. <clears throat> in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent down by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. And the angel then departed from her. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters. Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you deliver will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would give sight to the blind man. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm a storm with his hand? Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels trod? And when you kiss your little baby, Kiss the face of God. Oh, Mary, did you know? Yeah. Oh, Mary, did you know? Mm. The blind will see, the deaf will hear. Your baby boy is Lord of all creation. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day rule the nations? Did you know that your baby boy is heaven's perfect land? And the sleeping child you're holding is the great I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Mary, did you know? Yeah. Oh, Mary.
again from the Gospel of Luke. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. The seventh reading again comes from the Gospel of Luke. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. See, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger.
The eighth reading comes from the Gospel of Matthew. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him and called together all the chief priests and scribes of the people. He inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea. For so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, will by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is a to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy, and entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. In the bleak midwinter, frosty wind made moan Earth stood hard as iron Water like a stone Snow had fallen Snow on snow Snow Will you rise for our ninth reading? We've heard now from the beginning of the fall of human beings to the hope of redemption and to the birth of that redemption. And now for our last scripture reading this morning, we hear a reflection upon Jesus by those who walked with him in his earthly ministry, saw him crucified, dead, and risen. Here then, from the Gospel of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. 
All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, and yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave the power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and full of truth. May the Lord add blessing to the reading of Scripture. If you'll remain standing while we sing our closing song. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. We will sing, sing, sing. Joy to the world. We will sing, sing, sing. He rules the world with truth. Well, you intrepid Christians, you 
It's lovely to see so many here on Christmas morning. Last night was a blessing. This morning is a blessing. We truly hope that you have a merry and graceful Christmas and that you'll pass the grace of Christ on to your family and other folks that you spend the day with. If you will bow your heads, we'll have a closing prayer. Father, we remember that from the beginning of time, your plan was always to make a way for us to be with you and to love and to know you and be known by you. We thank you for that, for all that you've done through history and through the Christ to bring us an opportunity to be closer to you. We ask that you would bless this church, that we might be a vehicle that helps people come closer to you and each individual in it, that in our families and spheres of influence, people might see your light shine in and through our actions and reactions and so know that Jesus is the Christ and Lord. It's in his beautiful and wonderful name that we pray. Amen. Have a great day.